MachineTutorials.com. Yo, what's good? This is Saint Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Here with a video on using Machine 2.3 in Studio 1.3 and recording your MIDI directly inside of the DAW. Got some questions about it, so just want to make sure you understand what's going on. So I got two different instrument tracks right here that I'm gonna use for Machine. So let's just pull it up. So I got a couple kits. Let's just close this so we can just see the kits. So I got a couple kits I want to use. So the setup is pretty much what you're used to, but again, I want to go over it again just to make sure. So the first thing I want to do is make sure I do right click and do the MIDI batch setup. I'm going to go sounds to MIDI notes. I'll just do that on both of them really quick. Now, the next thing you want to do is make sure you're sending your MIDI into the host. So I'm going to highlight all my sounds and make sure you're on the sound tab. I'm going to go to the output under MIDI. I'm going to go to host. I'm going to leave this one on channel 1. I'm going to leave the transpose alone. We're just going to use C3. And then I want to come over here to the input and make sure MIDI through is turned off so we don't get that feedback. And then I'll go to the group for the MIDI input. I'm going to set that active. I'm going to put this on channel 1. For the root note, I'm going to put it on C3. And I'm going to do the same thing on the second group. I'm going to just give it a different channel. So on this one, I'm going to go here, highlight all my sounds, go to sound for my sound output. Again, you want to go to MIDI. You want to send it to the host. This time I'm going to do it on channel 2. For the input for all your sounds, you want to make sure that through is turned off so you don't get the MIDI feedback. On your group input, I'm going to turn MIDI on. This time I'm going to give it channel 2. And again, put it on C3. So we're pretty much good to go there. So let's say if we were on channel 1 and you may be confused, go over here and just expand so you can see all your options. I had some questions about that, about setting up the different channels. Just make sure you expand your track so you can see. So you can see right here, we're using machine 2, channel 1. We want to receive from Machine 2, not Machine Studio or Micro or MK2. You want to receive from the plugin. So Machine 2 on Channel 1. So if I were to play this first group, you can see the MIDI input. So we're going to do the same thing over here. Machine 2, but this time it's going to be Channel 2. And we want to receive from Machine 2 on Channel 2. So if I go into my second group, so you see it's not receiving from that group, it's only receiving from this one because of the channel we have it set up on. And now I'm pretty much ready to record, so if I just go here, I can just record a loop. Let's say I want to record maybe a kick and a snare or something. So let's say we want to do something like that. we got the MIDI in there for just that group now I want to go to the next one and maybe do like hi-hat or something but the main thing is when you first start studio one your tracks may be minimized so just drag them down so you can actually see your input options and make sure it's coming from the machine plugin and just make sure you have it set up for the right channels and everything as far as your MIDI to host and everything like that so let's go to this one and we'll go to our next group and I mean, we'll just do like a basic hi-hat or something like that. So you can see we got the separate MIDI for each one, responding to the different groups on different channels. Of course, you can set it up for as many channels as you want. Just make sure you got your channel set up properly over here and make sure you do that. Turn off that MIDI through for your sounds so you don't get, you know, feedback. Other than that, it's really straightforward and I, I definitely like how 
machine works inside of Studio One. It's just really simple and straightforward to go in there and set up. And of course, you got all the bounce and place options and stuff you can do. So really, really cool stuff. But again, if you got any questions, let me know. This is Saint Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Peace.